friends, it's me and Ryan, and we are back with another part of our Zero Escape Let's Play, and we're getting into our, like, first escape room after, you know, the tutorial one. Mind you, this is probably still gonna have tutorials, you know. All I remember, I decided to cause problems, pick this room when we had everything set. We got in here with Snake and Seven, the boys. We've just gotten into one room. This is just after Junpei decided to have a stare down with the dead body. <sighs> the atmosphere changed immediately. The room was gorgeous, and despite the apparent age of the ship, none worse for wear. <sighs> Where did they- They exploring. He looked around. Seven and Snake were nowhere to be seen. There were two doors on the right side of the room. He opened the one on his right and went through. Through here? Oh, I don't like this. I have been jump scared in like first person view games before. <laughs> Danganronpa. It's so for the stupidest shit of how I get jump scared. So I'm warning in advance. I'm sorry if I scream. On the other side of the door was a short hallway. He jogged down the hallway, opened the door at the other end, and peeked through. Oh, hello. There they were, to his right, busy examining something. Mm -hmm. What are you two staring at? What's up? So, I do want it to be known the true intentions of why I picked this room. So as I mentioned before, I have done some of this game up to a certain point. I have never been in this room. I have never gone to door five before. So I thought it would be a fun experience for us all. I've never seen what's behind door five, but I've seen door four. I, for the most part, know how to get out of door four. I have had to do it three times before. Why not go with the one I don't know? He stepped through the door and walked toward them. Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. Okay. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? Most likely. So I would assume. Is there any other way out? Junpei, you say this like they know how this works. We looked around a little. Other than this door, we didn't find anything. Okay. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door? Yes. We won't be going anywhere. Ah, fuck. Junpei stopped away from the door and looked around the room. This looks like a bedroom. Yeah, very nice bedroom, honestly. Nice desk. Overall. Pretty nice. This is like a little lever. I wonder... Eh, we'll see. Then the other room is probably a living room. Or the closest you can get to one on a ship. Mm. Yeah, depending on the type of cabin. I have no intention of ever going on a cruise. I used to go on little... You know how people just take boats out for rides on the water? Next door neighbor who used to babysit me as a kid. Her husband had a boat and sometimes in the summer they would take me out on the boat, the two of them, and their dog. It was just more so to like drive around the lake. A cruise? Not a, not interested. I've seen Titanic and I realize that modern cruise ships, stuff like that is a little less likely to happen, but I still just know I'm good. I barely like the idea of being in an airplane like slightly claustrophobic, so I don't think I would handle being on a cruise well. This looks like a bedroom. Okay. Right, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys. Oh, I hate those flashes. I'm definitely going to cut those out. Seek a way out. First class cabin. Oh, okay, wait, let's look at this. So this is the map of the room. So that's gotta be living room. These have to be closets from the looks of it. Bathroom and water closet, and then a bedroom. Okay, so this closet goes into here. Oh, okay, okay, I see now. So that small ass hallway, so this is the door we came in from. If you can tell where my cursor are, I will try and put stuff on the screen to make it a little more obvious. This right here is the door we came in. That's the door we went through to get to here. And these two doors are the ones we saw when we were in this hallway for a sec. So this door leads to a closet. That's the door that we probably use to get out of here. This also goes in here. So I want to try and check as much as possible. This might end up being a longer video. I've also got notepad and a pen on hand. I'm ready. So this is the locking thing. It's flashing red. That's usually not a good sign. Is that a microphone? Looks like a satellite dish. Let me see. Hmm. Well, judging by the feeling of it, I would guess that we are meant to produce some sort of sound. And this device will sense it and unlock. Oh. A white desk. Feels kind of fancy. A small round chair. Looks like it probably goes to the vanity. Oh. 
music sheet oh it took junbei by surprise sank usually so calm and collected suddenly began to move I stared about the room, almost frantically, clearly looking for something. You know, Junpei thought, not staring. After all, he is, he's blind. Blind or not, Snake was clearly attempting to do something. At last, Junpei could no longer contain his What's curiosity. Wrong? You got weird all of a sudden. Bruh, sure. Snake waited a moment before answering. I heard something strange. So he's probably got really crazy good hearing. I mean, a lot of the times when you lack in other senses, you make up for with others. So like, say you have really bad eyesight, you make up for that in decent hearing. Something strange. Ah, oh, well, never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. I don't wish to toot my own horn, but my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. See? I notice even the slightest of noises. Right. Are you going to tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? <laughs> no. Such a thing would be impossible. However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. Oh yeah, that's right. When Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. So that was... Hmm. Yes. I could hear it happening. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. I was not ever going to imply that you couldn't. I mean, if we're talking about me, like Orion, no, I can't run fast. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am quite confident that I could defeat them. I want to see oh, that. Really? <laughs> oh, really? Junpei was somewhat taken aback by this revelation. He stared at Snake, skeptical. You don't believe me, do you? Care to give it a try? Um, no. I must warn you. You'll no doubt regret it. Uh. Well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's resume our search, shall we? Okay. With a small and self-satisfied... With a small, self-satisfied smile, Snake turned and walked away from Junpei. Okay, but I want to go back. So I picked up what was there. There's nothing under the pillow. The bed with a canopy. I've seen something like this in movies and stuff, but never in real life. True. You don't see too many of these, too many of these days. I can't see the details, obviously, but I imagine it's one of those princess beds Clover is so fond of. Clover wants one of these? Yes. She wants a princess bed. Didn't I say that? You think it doesn't suit her? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Ah, uh, Junpei, judge her by her appearances, will you? Well, you should not. What? Huh? Is there like a log? No, I don't think there is. Ooh, what's this? This isn't a score. Is this a map of the ship? A map? There's a map of the ship here? Yeah, then I might imagine it will prove very helpful. You'd best hold on to it, Junpei. Okay, it's now possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. So, not right now, I'm assuming. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Clicking green parts of the floor plan will allow you to see a bird's eye view for that room. That's totally a table with a mirror. Ah, uh, yes, you know, that sort of thing is known as a vanity. Were you aware of that, Junpei? Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. As such, you could say that every day when a woman looks into one of these, she is staring into her own conceit and narcissism. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? Sure. Antique vanity, there's nothing in the drawers. Yep, it's empty. Okay. High quality desk. Teak, perhaps mahogany. Wow, you can tell? Oh, I have my ways. Okay. What's this? Oh, the light switches. Nothing happens when you press it. The lights, huh? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. And there we are in the mirror. What a pair. A college kid and a terrifying giant of a man in a beanie. Stuck in a cramped bathroom. With this beast of a man. Okay, you know what, Junpei? What did my parents say? Hmm? Something wrong, Junpei? It looked real sad all of a sudden. Uh, no, nothing. Can I? There's a plug at the end of this chain. Let's see if I can pull it out. Whoa, hold up. Huh? I was just thinking. We might be able to use the water. Use the water? What are you talking about? The bathtub's full of gross, cloudy water. Huh? This faucet is really hard to turn. Man, doesn't matter how hard I yank on it, this thing won't budge. Hard for you to turn, kid? How about you let a man give it a shot? You know, 
So far, I find it really funny that like there's been so many moments where Seven's like, let me do it or just like throws himself at it like tough guy and then still can't do it. Damn it, nothing. Might as well be a damn rock. Looks like something's holding that knob in place. Well, if you can't do it, Seven, guess we might as well give up. Well, the sink's clean. Any water? Nothing's coming out. We've got the faucet on all the way, but I can't hear anything. Testing, testing. Hey, it's great to see you all here. <laughs> Just flew in from New York, and boy are my arms tired. Yes, thank you. I'll be here all week. Seven. No. Try the veal. That's not a mic, Seven. It's just a shower head. What? What the hell? What's this? I have a piece of paper that's been folded in half. It has score printed on the front of it. Score? That's, that's gotta mean musical score. If that's true, then the score we just found was probably in here. At least... At some point. Just some sort of antique desk. Makes sense though. I guess this whole room's full of antiques. You could get a nice handful of cash uh, for all this stuff in here. There is one thing I remember from going through door four, and that is also somebody mentioning what if we sold everything in here? There's a cover for a musical score sitting on the table. It's a chair. Yes. A couple of lights on the wall here. Old fashioned desk. Ooh, suitcase made of leather. Color enriched mahogany. Well, shoot. Looks like there's nothing in it. Ooh, could I? Dang. Thought if I combined it, it would. Oh, gee. Okay. So, no. We don't want to combine those two. I get it. You're going to use this vase, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. We just gotta fill it with- fill this thing with water. What? What are you talking about? Oh man, you don't get it? Just grab the vase and take a look around. You'll figure it out soon enough. Ha! Don't be backseat gaming me! What is this? What is this thingy? It won't let me click on it. <gasps> oh, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't- I didn't know! I didn't know! Fill the vase up, then... We can toss it. Uh huh? Not really sure what he's saying. Whatever. Let's just get the vase full of water. Thanks, Seven. That was not where I wanted to go. Alright, time to put the fire out. About time, buddy. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Another success. That fire doesn't stand a chance. Okay. All right, just pull this out now. Don't want to get burned, so let's pull down the sleeves. Score plate. No? As Junpei tucked the plate into his pocket. Oh. You all good, bud? Someone cried out and stumbled, his balance lost. He threw out a hand and caught the wall in time to steady himself and avoid the floor, but his face was flushed and he looked startled. Hey, Seven, what the hell was that? Are you alright? Yeah, are you all good, dude? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy, that's all. No, oh, no oh shit. Seven rubbed a couple of fingers across his brow and sh uh, then shook his head as if, he if to clear it. What the hell is wrong with me? There's memory loss, now I'm getting dizzy for no reason. Oh? Memory loss? Jumei couldn't hide the surprise in his voice. Seven, for his part, seemed unconcerned. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you. Yeah? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? I mean, if he could remember, he would tell you. If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? <laughs> Point stands. Oh, yeah, uh, I guess that's true. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. Really got amnesia? Shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? All of the above. Well, sure. I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Deck. It's come to terms. But that was a while ago. I've had some time to get used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. After all, why worry about something I can't change? Fair point. Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. I figure it'll work itself out eventually. But that's... that's it? That's it. Uh, uh... Alright, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. It's very chill. Seven gave Junpei a look. The younger man wasn't sure how to interpret and turned away. How are you fine with something like that? 
Seven is clearly someone who does not have anxiety in their bones. Somehow, though, Junpei didn't find his reassurance very reassuring. So we got couch big enough for three people. Looks perfect for me. What? Perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. The couch looks a lot more elegant. Hey, there's something you ain't, you aren't saying. Uh, never mind. I want to know what this is, but I'm assuming it's not letting me click on it. So I'm assuming it's not something we can actually interact with. Can't go out that way. Right. Another suitcase. Nothing in there. Okay, so there's nothing in that one either. There's some toilet paper on the wall there. Nothing that looks suspicious. It's a toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet tank. There's nothing strange about the toilet. Okay. Can I unplug this now? Yeah, good plan. Okay, cool. There's some things that I'm just skipping through because it's just very obvious what they're saying. All right, there, what, where's that thing? A good tug ought to be enough to get it, huh? Oh, hey, got another one. The safe is locked. That's one of those dial locks. Doesn't have a key. We need to just, we just need to get the dials in the right place and it'll open. Did you find anything, Seven? Nope. How about you, Snake? I also found nothing. Ooh, sheet music. This one's C. So we probably have a B. We won't be able to open it until we know the right numbers. You're fucking kidding me. I can't read music. So wish me luck on this. Oh, I'm sure you need not tell you, but the keys on the piano are not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. You must listen carefully and determine which keys to strike. Do you understand? Yeah. All right, let's give this a shot. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so. Oh. Oh. And we're done. Music is not my forte. Wait, what was that noise? Junpei, we did it. Looks like it worked. Okay, I was expecting that to take way longer than it actually was gonna. Over by the exit. Let's go. Good plan. Stand, bow, be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake thinks it's funny. Yes, I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine... I don't imagine that's what Zero was thinking of, however. No, no. Zero almost certainly meant to suggest, uh, Westminster, not middle school. Westminster? The palace in London that plays host these days to the Houses of Parliament. You've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? That currently, at this point, I believe is not currently ringing because it's in repair. I could be wrong. Big Ben plays the very collection of notes, that very collection of notes on the hour. London? The capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately. I, I definitely had a moment there where I was like... I need to pick up that sheet music. That definitely took up a lot of time. But you know, I seriously thought this was going to take a lot longer. Like, I didn't think I could just get the sheet music, walk over to the piano. I also think that I chose, I, like, I was selected on the right one by mistake. <laughs> or I think it was just like it auto-compiled them because I was clicking through it and I didn't read what he said. All right, let's go. You found it? You found it! He came out to the door and into a long straight hallway. Another hallway? Yes. Yes, another hallway. That we're gonna deal with next time. But thank you so much for hanging out today, friends, and watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next part. I love you, appreciate you, and bye bye